Baal Shamin was a god and a title applied to different gods at different places or times in ancient Middle Eastern inscriptions, especially Canaan, Phoenicia, and Syria. The title was most often applied to Hadad, who is often simply titled as Baal. Baal Shamin was one of the two supreme gods and the sky god of pre-Islamic Palmyra and ancient Syria, Bel being the other supreme god. And we know who took that role, don't we? The name presents itself in due time. In Syria, his attributes was the eagle and the lightning bolt. And he perhaps formed a triad with the lunar god Aglabol and the sun god Malakbel. The letter A and the letter E are interchangeable, which changes the name to Malek Baal, which could possibly refer to Malek Taus and the order of the peacock angel. Baal Shaman was originally a title of Baal Hadad in the second millennium BC, but came to designate a distinct god in the first millennium BC. The earliest known mention of this god or title is in a treaty of the 14th century BC between Supil Uliumas, who was the first king of the Hittites, and Nikumadu II, king of Ogaret, although this could be a reference to Baal Hadad. In the treaty of 677 BC between King Ashurhaddon of Assyria and King Baal I of Tyre, a curse is laid against King Baal if he breaks the treaty The treaty reads in part, May Baal Shamem, Baal Malaj, and Baal Safon raise an evil wind against your ships to undo their moorings, tear out their mooring pole. May a strong wave sink them in the sea. A violent tide will rise against you. This would be the violent tide of the Red Sea crossing, the location of Mount Zaphon, where Typhon is said to be hidden. The god Baal Malaj is otherwise unexplained. The word Malaj means no gender. Baal Zaphon here and elsewhere seems to be Baal Hadad, whose home is on Mount Saphon. But interpreters disagree as to whether these three separate gods are three aspects of the same god. A god who causes stormy weather on the sea. One god divided into three which is a very familiar theme here at Ancient Mystery. Baal Shaman is also mentioned as an idol among the Aramean gods by Jacob and Sarug. Before I read this inscription, Phobos the lion-faced god of death is the origin of Phaethon and his fallen chariot. Phaethon would be Apollo and his father is Zeus, who would be the lion-faced Jove in Roman mythology, who is depicted as a winged lion.
the inscription is as follows. He, that is Satan, put Apollo as an idol in Antioch and others with him. This would be the new generation of gods. In Edessa, he set Nebu and Bel together with many others. He led astray Haran by Sin, meaning the moon god Sin, Suen, Enzu. Baal Shamin and Bar Nimir, Nu Sku. By my lord and his dogs, that is Nergal, Lugal Banda, and the goddess Taratha, Astarte and Gadlat. We are told here that the figure behind them all is Satan, the adversary of God. In the Enuma Elish, it is the Titan that is referred to as Satan and relates to the Zodiac. The title Satan is not directly attributed to this Titan Instead, there were eleven Satans made just like him. And of course, there are twelve main Greek gods. You either see it or you don't. In Sanchenathon's main mythology, the god he calls in Greek, Uranus Sky, has been thought by some to stand for Baal Shamen. The sky here is the actual father of Baal Hadad. However, Baal Hadad was not born until after his mother's marriage to Dagon. As in Greek and Hittite mythology, Uranus, the sky, is castrated by his son, who is in turn destined to be opposed by the thunder god. That does sound familiar, doesn't it? The Metatron, Enoch the eunuch, no gender. Removing one's genitals was an ancient key to immortality. In Nabataean texts, in Greek, Baal Shamin is regularly equated with Zeus Helios, that is, Zeus as a sun god. Sanchenathon does support this and that when the droughts occurred, they stretched out their hands to heaven, towards the sun. For him alone, he says, they regarded as God, the Lord of heaven, calling him Beel Samen, which is in the Phoenician language, Lord of heaven, and in Greek, it is Zeus. The name Beel Shamen confirms my words relating to the A and E being interchangeable. Beel and Baal, changing Malak Baal to Malak Baal, and quite fittingly, the Angel of Baal will be next on Ancient Mystery. The role of Baal, it seized with his hand.